This is by far the best solo base I've built to date. From a cool entrance that has an oil refinery, to an awesome bunker, this base has it all. This base is so smooth to live out of, plus it has a fridge. And we all know you can't have a base without a fridge. Enough of me explaining, let me just show you around. Coming up to the front door, jumping through, we have our computer table here. And under this rug to stop you falling through, we have a nice little oil refinery. Opening up the double doors, which also creates a nice airlock here and on the other side. We have a shotgun trap, two garage doors, loads and loads of box storage. We have a turret. And down here we have a nice little charcoal factory or a charcoal room, whatever you. It's basically the only thing we can fit down here. We also have a battery. Moving to the right, we have our research table, repair bench, and of course a fridge. We have a few drop boxes and three electrical furnaces. And we also have our access to our roof, which you can fit a nice little mini guarded by a turret. Now the bunker here is easily destroyable. All you need is a roof piece. Place it here like so, and it destroys. Easy as that. Dropping down, we have our tier three workbench, loads and loads of box storage, and our tool cupboard cost, which is super, super cheap for a solo base of this size. Behind this door, we also have a bit more storage in a vending machine. We also have our two turret switches here. And that is the base. In my next video, I'm giving away $40 worth of skins. All you need to do is leave a comment on this video. This is possible thanks to today's sponsor. Is your inventory severely lacking Rust skins? If you use my code LEFTYP in all caps on Rust Clash, you can receive cases that can be claimed every single day. You can also claim rakeback when you use my code. Rust Clash now offer a dynamic referral code, which means you can change it every 24 hours. Rust Clash has loads of different deposit methods, including Rust, CSGO, and Dota 2 skins, and they even have a crypto option. Rust Clash has all your favourite game modes, including my favourite, the Roulette Wheel. Rust Clash gives away over $25,000 a week using the Rain feature, which you can easily enter to through chat. So make sure you use my code LEFTYP in all capitals and get yourself some free skins. Also, make sure you gamble responsibly. Starting off this video with a square and a triangle. Now just a note, wherever you want your door, place the triangle on the opposite way. If you want your door this side, place the triangle here and vice versa. Cover the square in with walls, place the door on the front and a wall. Place your roof. Now for now you can place a triangle there and make it wood. But if you're not too worried about an airlock, uh, you can just place a frame like so. Place your doors and you can place your tool cupboard in this back corner. Now I advise rotating the wall and rotating the TC just to get it as close to the wall as you possibly can. Rotate the wall back and rotate the TC and it should be stuck into the wall like this. Now with the power of editing, I can show you the tier one starter. Now, once you have enough materials, we can go ahead with the bunker part of the base. Coming out here, we're going to place one twig foundation and a wall. You can upgrade that wall to stone, but leave the foundation twig. Go one square, nine triangles out. Cap the nine triangles with a square and delete them. Now you want to delete this triangle here as well, and we can come back in squares. Look all the way to the left and place this triangle. Now you want this stone texture in the bottom left hand corner of the foundation. If you have that, you're good to upgrade. Go ahead and delete these. And then we can place nine triangles again. And one square. Delete the triangles and the square at the bottom. Come back in squares. And we can place two half walls. Like so. Cap it off with a triangle. Make sure the triangle is connected to the half walls. And we can delete all of the squares. Go ahead and upgrade. 
and this piece should be 28% stable. Just to test to see if the bunker works, we're going to place a twig thing here. Place this twig here. You want that so you can place that later. And place a roof here. If the twig you placed before is destroyed, your bunker is good to go. You can now delete that and upgrade this. Now to get up, you can create just a simple jump up. Using a half wall and a triangle. Easy as that. But because I'm in a creative or on a build server, I don't have to do that. We can go ahead and cover this with a wall, a high foundation like so, and a wall. Two half walls and a roof, and you finish that off with a half wall. Make sure it's rotated the other way. Place a roof on top like so. And that is your bunker bit secure. From here, we can go in and completely cover up the base. Leaving one gap at the front. Go ahead and place a wall here. Now you want the soft side facing inwards, like so. And you'll notice you can't place a wall frame here. Now I'll show you how to fix that in a second. First, we'll place a wall. Go ahead and place a wall here. And a frame on top of it. Then you can delete this wall. Easy as that. Go ahead and fill in the rest of your roof. And we can create a simple jump up, like so. Or you can use a roof piece. Now for this bit, you can either leave it or you can place a wood piece like that. You will have to have to hatch it out after. From here, I'm going to show you the tier two deployables from the base. I'm not going to bore you and uh, show you me placing each one. I'm just going to use the power of editing and show you. Now, if you need to slow anything down, you can use YouTube settings and see where I've placed everything. I've gone ahead and added garage doors, added all, uh, or a lot of deployables, some furnaces, some shelves here, placed a tier two and completely upgraded the core. Now the reason I haven't placed large boxes, I've only used small boxes, is because when we have the tier 3 workbench, um, you will not be able to use large boxes. Sweet. From here, we can go ahead and start working on the honeycomb. Now you want to place all of the bottom pieces before you place the roof pieces. I'll show you why in a second, but you really want to do it. Now this piece, you want to make sure you do not place the roof on top of it. Like so. Now for this one, it's a very awkward procedure. So I'm just going to show you quickly. I'm going to head and remove the furnace quickly. You can see this is 28% stable. If I place this roof here, it no longer is 28. And you want to keep it at 28 because that's how your bunker works. It's quite an easy fix, all you need to do is place a few triangles out here and connect the triangle to it. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes you need to do it twice. Just like so. Easy. Go ahead and remove these two pieces and your honeycomb is complete. We can then go onto the front, place a square and three triangle foundations. Delete the square. Add some rules can put two roof triangles on each corner. Upgrade this piece to metal. And that is where your oil refinery will be. Go ahead and place a window and two doors. And your roof. Now for now, if you don't have a oil refinery, I advise just making the triangle on top of it twig, uh, or else it'll be almost impossible to place after. like so. 
go ahead and place a triangle on top. And this is where you can place your rug to stop you falling down. Now, as you can see, your oil refinery is down there and you can't fall through. Go ahead and place your doors. And we can go ahead and place a window on the front. Now, as you can see, there is no roof to this space. So we're going to come back inside and we can hatch out this whole entire wood piece here. And we can go ahead and create our jump down or jump up. Go ahead and create a nice little shelf in here. And place a door in front. Now you can expand this base upwards, uh, but I quite like my bases to be quite short. So I just go ahead and fill it with labels. And that is the base. I'm now going to show you the rest of the deployables. Now I'm not going to speak through the whole deployable process. So uh, hopefully you enjoy. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace. And the winner from last video to win the full um, full kit is this guy here. 
Make sure you message me on Discord and I'll be sure to give you your skin. Peace.